Hello everybody and welcome to the virtual field trip to Fisher Island. We are currently driving down Big Eddy, heading towards Pike Lake. If you look to your left, there's Mile 5, the scary sliding hill where I almost died once, but that's a different story. Back to the field trip. So, Fisher Island is the site of the McKay Residential School. It's no longer there, but we'll head down to where it used to stand. So to get there, we first need to go down Pike Lake, and Pike Lake is to our left there at that sign. If we kept going straight where this truck is going, we'd head to the dumps and to the highway towards Clearwater Lake. So now we're just going to speed it up a little bit because I had to drive really slow because the roads are so bumpy. We'll speed it up to the good part when we get right down. I did not drive this fast. I sped up this footage. Do not drive this fast. All right, here's the good part. So here's Pike Lake. This is where we would have Pike Lake Day. Um, to the right, they cut down some trees, I think so we can make some more room so we can have more people down here during our gatherings. To our left, there's the stage that now stays there year round. You'll notice there's still some ice on the lake. It was such a nice day for a drive. I had a blast going down here. And I was jamming to my tunes, which is why I cut out the audio, and now you're listening to me voiceover. <laughs> so, to get to Fisher Island, we're just going to continue driving down this gravel road into the bush. The road can be a little wet sometimes, so if you come down here, I advise that you take a truck or come down here when it hasn't rained, because the road can be quite wet. You'll see right here that there's a big puddle and there are more puddles along the road. I tried to come down here the day before and there was no way that was happening, the road was way too wet. So again you'll notice I did speed up the footage, no I'm not driving this crazy like a maniac. So as I mentioned the road is pretty long, I definitely wouldn't want to walk it because I didn't, wouldn't want to get eaten by a bear. But it's not that far of a drive, it's maybe a 10 minute drive from the top of the hill to get over here. So it's not like this school was hundreds of miles away in a different town. The school was literally in the backyard of our home. I actually had no clue that the school was over here until maybe five or six years ago when I went out for a drive over here with my granny and my mom and my granny mentioned it. So we're almost there. Right up there you'll notice the clearing. That's Fisher Island. Ooh, so exciting! We're almost there! And ta-da! Welcome to Fisher Island! Now sorry there's not a whole lot to look at. There hasn't been much development down here since the school. We now have a soccer field and a baseball diamond that we do use for spaghetti days for the tournaments. But other than that it's just been sort of abandoned and left and we've slowly been reclaiming it as our own site. All right, so down to Fisher Island. Oh, that's a big bee, gross. Woo! Oh my God. Oh, big bee, okay. I'm gonna get stung. If I get stung, remember it's for you guys. It's for you students. Okay, so. Oh, it's there. Oh my God. Ah! So now that I was back in the comfort of my vehicle and wasn't being hunted by a murderous bee, I can explain where the site was. So remember how I said I came down here with my granny and my mom? That time I came down here, she told me that the site of the school used to be right there. When I was much younger, me and my mom used to come up for rides down here and I do remember seeing big piles of concrete and what my granny told me that those were the remnants of the foundation of the school. And they were straight ahead there. The, the ground used to come up a bit. She told me that's where the school sat. There also used to be a church down here. I didn't know that until I started further reading into the school. I don't know where that church would have been. It said that it was next to the school, so I don't know if that was on the left or the right side, but just know that there was also a church down here. In 1933, on March 19th, the building was destroyed by a fire. The cause of the fire was determined to be staff carelessness. Thankfully, all of the students and staff made it out of the building safe. After the fire, half of the students were sent to the Elkhorn Residential School. Others temporarily stayed in the PAW, and others were sent home for the spring to await for enrollment for later on in the year.
The school here never reopened, but what does cause confusion is that there was a McKay residential school built later on in 1957 in Dauphin, Manitoba. So although this site carries with it a heavy history of trauma and abuse, I think it's beautiful that OCN has managed to reclaim it as their own and use it as a site to celebrate community and have some gatherings and have fun playing sports. I hope you enjoyed our little field trip to Fisher Island and thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!